All right, Coach, you guys enter the NCAA championships fresh off of a Big Ten championship. Can you guys carry any momentum or confidence from the Big Tens into the NCAAs? Yeah, I think we've had a lot of momentum in practice over the last week and a half, and I'm sure that was a, a real confidence boost for the guys on the team. I know it was for me. Uh, anytime you win the Big Ten and you're, you know, and Penn State's in there ranked number one and you defeat them, it's, it's, uh, great that you know it's a big confidence builder that uh, hey maybe we can do this and then confidence is a big part of gymnastics but I think experience is as well and you have a very experienced roster how has that helped your team this year well I think it'll help us a lot in the championship I think it helped us uh, quite a bit at the Big Ten championship and and also having a couple of guys that were in the Olympics last summer uh, what what they learned and what they brought back and shared with their teammates behind the scenes, I think it, 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 it's helped a lot. I think it's helped with, uh, with confidence as well. And then you guys have been very consistent across the board on, on all of the events this year. What was maybe one event that surprised you that you were so good on this year? Well, it didn't really surprise me because you could see it coming, but uh, Parallel Bars, I think, is our strongest event in relationship to all the other teams. Uh, I guess if there were a surprise, we've upgraded our vault quite a bit. So if we're uh, fortunate to hit all of our vaults, uh, we've improved a lot there, and that, that is kind of a pleasant surprise for us. And then all season you kind of compete in these dual meets, and now in championship season it's, it's more teams and more time maybe in the gym. Is there any difference between the regular season and the championship season in men's gymnastics? Uh, yes, well, we, we definitely, during we got banged up a little bit in the middle of the season, and it was just a dual meet. Even though you don't want to sacrifice a dual meet, in order to be healthy we had to rest some guys in the middle of the season, and I think that that cost us uh, maybe a couple of victories. Uh, everything in our program is geared toward the postseason, and particularly the NCAA. We use the Big Ten as a stepping stone for the NCAA championship, and hopefully that plan will come to fruition. And then one last question. You, uh, being in the Big Ten, you get to come to Rec Hall and compete uh, every other year. What do you expect out of uh, uh, the Rec Hall crowd this weekend? Oh, there are, Penn State always has a great crowd, and I would imagine with Penn State being ranked number one from the beginning of the season to the end, they'll have a real nice crowd. They also have the uh, uh, spring football game, so that should bring some Penn State fans into town that otherwise wouldn't have been here, and hopefully they'll pack the house like they normally do and uh, be very vocal like they normally are. Sam, uh, an Olympian last year over the summer, uh, talk about your experience and what it means to you to be able to go represent your country in the Olympics. It's definitely one of the biggest honors that I've ever been able to partake in in my entire life. Something that I've been working to accomplish for ever since I was two years old, just doing those mommy and me classes and you know, just being able to put on the American jersey, have that USA on your chest and be representing your country at the highest of athletic competitions. You know, There's just that feeling of pride that you get and you get so much support from everybody in the country and everyone's watching tuning in to watch gymnastics which hardly ever happens and you know it's just a moment in my life that I'll always cherish. And you talked about being part of a team but another accomplishment that you've had on an individual level uh, was Big Ten Gymnast of the Year this year at the championships last week. Talk about what that uh, what that recognition means for you. Uh, you know it's definitely a very big honor to win the individual title for Big Ten Championships and I was proud as I am of that. I'm still more proud of the team championship that we came away with. Uh, it's been a big adjustment, really, coming back after an injury. And that was my first all-around competition of the year. And so I'm just happy I was able to hit all events and be as confident as I wanted to be. And then you talk about the team championship. Can, can this team carry that kind of momentum from the Big Ten championships into the NCAA? I believe we can. Uh, our team has been working hard every single day in the gym. All we want to do is come away with that NCAA championship. And we've put in the time, we've put in the effort, now we just need to go on and put on a show. And one thing that changed this year, mid-season for you guys, which is kind of weird when the rules change mid-year, but the f went up from six up five count to five up five count. Did you guys have any type of adjustment as a team for that? Uh, there was a lot more fight for lineup spots. That's a big issue that comes along with, I'm sure, every team. But I think one thing that we really had to switch and adjust in our uh, training atmosphere was to be able to fight for your routines, make sure that even if you you know, f mess up on your first skill, that you're still working every single skill after that to make it as perfect and give nothing back. And then you guys have uh, a solid lineup up and down the apparatuses, but uh, for the fans that are going to come to Rec Hall this weekend, if you had to say, watch, watch the Wolverines on this event, which one would it be for you? Uh, 
Well, I'm going to say whatever event we end on because we're, it's, we're going to build up energy throughout the whole entire meet. And coming down to that last event is when we're really going to get rattiest.